All right, onward. Who else wants some shot to the face? Yeah, back upstairs again. Finally. You first. You know, you'd think if you saw your friend's head pop right next to you, you would just turn around and run instead of coming at the person who uh, just made your friend's head pop. Someone's a dummy. Just a little bit. I mean, I know we're in a wasteland and all, and you can't be that intelligent, but still. It's kind of ridiculous. Hey, buddy. There you Look like you're trying to run away. Someone smart for once. Still dead. Nice Brahmin head on the wall. Looks a little small, but uh, it's nice. Also looks like uh, what's left of a mole rat. Alright. Hey. No, don't want that. It's like he put ammo and health all around here because he figured I would be coming through here. Can I shoot that thing or something? It looks like gas. Yeah. No? Nothing? Hmm. Ah. Pinned off what invaders? Hi, Desmond. One last way for them to get in. Follow me. I think we're about to get hit hard. Do you really just sit in a house like this all the time? Yeah, they Come, grab all the ammo and stim packs you need. This is gonna be a rough one. If you have any mine, now's the time to use them. They could come in through any of the boarded up doors at any second. Yeah, I don't care. If I really need it, I'm going to pull out my claw, and I'll manage them that way. Doesn't really look like there's anything around here that I care about. Okay, any second now. Get ready. I am ready. Let's kick some ass. Here they come. Second floor on the right. Okay. I'll take the one with the gun. And that one with the gun, too. No, I don't want to kill Jerry. Can I? There we go. Not Jerry. Not Frecky, not Desmond. There you go. Piles of them everywhere. Don't worry, man. I'm sure we're gonna be safe. More of them on the right, first floor. First floor? Okay. You got a gun? You go down first. Desmond, stop pushing me around. You first. Man, that guy's taking some serious damage. It's like his head was shielded or something. Anyone else? Okay. No, I don't want Frecky. Not you. You. Nice. Good shot. There you go. How 
I think you're done. No one else? Is there anyone down there? There we go. Thought I heard someone. Happy days from the clown. You're done. They're at the front door. Get ready. Front door? I was thinking they were gonna go from over there, but okay. Whoa, someone's got a big gun. All right, time to pull out something bigger. Bet you weren't ready for that. That looks like the last of them. That was a pretty good shot. Yeah, I've also got really big weapons, so I, I work with it. It's all good. Let's go pick up some ammo and uh, then we'll talk to Desmond. I think I may have ripped him through the floor because I don't see the guy that had that gun. Oh, there we go. Now, take those. Those are definitely nice. How about you? Shotgun shells are cool. Always happy with shotgun shells. So basically, if you go here, you get all of the guns, um, at least the ones that I've found so far, immediately. All right, now I've got a couple of lever action rifles that I can uh, switch to and enjoy. I thought there was something in one of these filing cabinets. I guess not. All right, let's uh, let's go upstairs and see if there's anything on these guys that came in through the door. Take those. Uh oh. Okay, and we're back again after the second crash. I need to really start remembering to quick save this much more often because I had to redo this entire place. But it doesn't matter because they're all dead again and um, everyone's alive and it's, it's all good. So we can move on from here, finally. What's up, Desmond? So, my hero. Think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time. Not hardly. Had it all well in hand, and I didn't even need to use the failsafe. But that would have done a real number on some of the paintings, so just as well you were here. Anyway, name's Desmond. Does your face always glow like this, or is this just, uh, something in the evening? I, what, what, what's going on here? What kind of failsafe are you talking about, anyway? The type that kills everyone outside of my safe room and leaves a hell of a mess to clean up. Standard type. Not worth wasting on ignorant savages like them, honestly. Just as well you came along when you did. So, tell you what I'll do. I'll share a few tips for the next time you're making a dramatic final stand. I have just gotten the Superior Defender perk, apparently. Well, that's cool. Uh, I now do more damage and have better defense while standing still. Cool. I think I mostly stand still when I'm firing anyway. Do you know why the tribals were attacking? Not a fucking clue. It'd be easy to chalk it up to their crazy religion. But if I'm right, and I always am, there's something else going on. That's the third attack in a month, so somebody's got a grudge with me. Whether it's a man or a god, I intend to set them straight. Sure. So, why would they want to attack the mansion? I didn't find anything in here besides stim packs, so it didn't really seem like there was anything interesting. Other than, I suppose, 
the working cameras and TVs. Damned if I know, it was abandoned when I got here. There's plenty hidden away here. None of it would be useful to a bunch of crazed inbreds. You don't say. Have you seen a woman named Nadine? I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I still had skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back, but she ran off before I could introduce myself. So what you're saying is that was probably the girl, but you didn't actually get to find out one way or another. Tell me more about Point Lookout. I'm here on my own business. You wouldn't understand it even if I tried to explain it to you. I don't know why anyone would bother with this shithole. It's filled with a bunch of disgusting inbreds and half-crazed loons. I'm gonna do what I came to do, and then get the fuck out of here. So since you're not one of the inbreds, does that make you a half-crazed loon? Hmm. What do you know about the tribals? They're brainless morons who worship some crazy spirit. What's to know? Eh, you never know. There could be something. Well, I gotta go. Now hold on there. Not so fucking fast. You can be useful to me. I need someone willing to get their hands dirty. So here's the deal. I help you get in with those tribals. You help me get what I want, and I'll make you fucking rich. I'm already Just rich. try not to sprain a lobe while you're thinking about it. My time is short. Wow, you're an asshole. So, uh, what do you want me to do about the tribals? You need to learn to pay attention when I speak. Uh -huh. Those mud lovers want me dead, and haven't extended the common fucking courtesy of telling me why. So, I need you to find a way into their commune, and figure out what's going through their addled little heads. Be a good pup, and old Desmond will give you a treat. And of course, who knows what riches they have for you to steal. Well, I can kind of see why someone would want you dead. I'm thinking about it myself. But, uh, how can I infiltrate them, exactly? Easy peasy. Right about now, they'll be wondering what happened to their hunting party. You really think they'll just let me in like that? These are people who think cutting a hole in their skull can expand their mind. They're not exactly scholars over there. Just head up to the cathedral and ask real nice. When you're in, you'll find the bastard in charge and find out what they're up to. I just need information. No need for violence. Yet. Uh-huh. So what's your story? My story? Tell you what, kid. My story's a lot like a death clause tongue. It's long, messy, and you don't want to get too personal with it. Understand? Suffice yeah. to say, I have business in Point Lookout. If you help, you will be repaid for your efforts. That's all you want to fucking know. Uh huh. I'm gonna ask one more time. Have you seen a woman named Nadine? I've been around. All right. That Same damn thing. Why should I work with you again? What's the difference between you and me, kid? What makes a gifted killer like yourself into a rock-hard bastard like me? The answer is training, you ignorant fuck! I've got a hundred years of experience on you, and don't you forget it. Stick by me and you'll get a master's class in doing what has to be done. Hmm, hmm. Well, I gotta go. Back to business. I'll give you a master's class in what has to be done. Master's class that asshole. Dumb fuck. Well, if he's uh, still angry at me... Nope, he's not. <laughs> what have you got for me? Nothing. I gotta go. Back to business. Totally worth it. Dumbass. I'll give you a master's class and what needs to be done. Yeah. Like I haven't been around the wasteland for a long time already. I don't care how long you've been alive, you have nothing on me. I've got experience, and experience in spades always trumps years. Alright, well, I can see that cathedral off in the distance. 
I can also see some stuff down here. Probably nothing. But you never know. There's a boy over there. And we got someone slinking around on the uh, coast here. Got any buddies? Doesn't look like it. This shotgun's so much better than the other one. Being able to shoot quick is a lot better than able being able to shoot something that does heavy damage. I would take a weapon that dealt one damage, but uh, did it like 500 times a second over a damage that, or uh, over a weapon that's going to do damage of uh, 500 per shot, you know? Because if you miss with uh, that one 500 blow, you've missed your chance to uh, actually deal damage. Whereas, um, with that many shots, it's quite likely that you're going to land quite a few of them and manage to do quite a bit of damage. So, yeah, having a gun that only shoots once before you have to reload just doesn't really sit well with me. There's nothing here. It's a whole bunch of fishing poles, which makes me think that at some point the fishing poles might come in handy, but... Oh, below decks, eh? But uh, I don't, I don't know who would want fishing poles. Found some scrap and some buff out. I'll take the buff out. Let's find out what's going on uh, below decks. I don't think there's anything behind these. Eh, probably not. Yoo-hoo! Anything uh, interesting down here? Uh, not much that I can tell, but there's some stuff. So, you know, I might as well take what I can take. What's that noise? It's like this humming. I don't hear it anymore. It's just a couple hums and then it was gone. I have found expedition supplies, which requires a key. Also found a Baishi Co. Terminal. What is this about? Mission parameters, huh? Hmm. I kind of don't want to hit that, because I don't know what that is. Let's give it a quick save real quick. Make sure that we don't screw something up. Anyways, this is a natural gas survey vessel, USS uh, Ozymandias? I don't know. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, I would imagine. 